love arrives in many ways. Sometimes love is just quietly noticed where it always was. Sometimes love rushes in like a thunderous herd of horses galloping out of the west. There are no limits to how love can burst and bloom. Sometimes love does seem to be nothing but a magic trick, and sometimes love blossoms and lasts forever like a burgeoning rose in your heart. Sometimes, the fact alone that you know love exists is enough to put roses in your cheeks. You yourself may not have your heart's desire, yet knowing that someone has true love feels good to your heart. Just think of it, love exists. You value love, and that valuing comes from love within you. You are glad that someone has a great love. My children worry about the permanence of love. You may not see it very often, love that lasts. To you, perhaps falling in love feels like jumping off a cliff. Where you land, no one knows. Whatever the future of your love, you contribute to it. Love is due to you, yet you can't just sit there as if you are not a partner in the arrival of love. Take care of your own love. Your lovingness is your own. Take care of your own love then. You cannot manage another's love toward you as if you have the say. You can give love, yet you cannot order or instruct another's love. You don't own another's love. You can only give your own God-given love. Too often you don't know what love is anyway. Too often you call attachment love, and you hold too tight. Love cannot be possessed. If you try to possess, you compress the love from another's heart. You don't want to squeeze love too tight. Love is lived. Love is freedom. Love is like great biceps that can break chains that would imprison. It is the tender heart that breaks chains. You are responsible for breaking your own chains, so you do wrap any other in chains. There are no musts about love except that you allow your own love to thrive. Life is great theater, and you simply have to wait and see. Love does not have to be accounted for. Love is not a bill that has to be paid. Love is free. It cannot be shackled. You cannot be the decider of another's love and what another's love must look like. Sometimes love is a visitor who doesn't stay long. Sometimes you are the host who is sorry to see the visitor leave. This is not for you to moon about. Wave goodbye to the visitor who takes his leave. Smile and blow a kiss. Your welcome visitor has every right to leave. It is not for you to keep him or her captive. Life has its own timing, even as time is illusion. All of this life on earth is filled with illusion. The love you desire may live in a different dimension from what the world currently offers you of itself. Love cannot be demanded. Demands do not work. A lit match cannot always start a fire. The climate has to be just right, the tinder dry. You cannot assume that you are a force stronger than the wind that blows. Love is not your yo-yo. You do not hold the string to another's love. Love has to go its own way. Truly, loving is not something that can be taught. You have to open your own heart to experience love. Of course, you may think you have taken several crash courses in love and failed. There are models for you to observe. Not to compare yourself to and put yourself down, no, yet observe those who seem to know how to love and you are glad for.